Sandy Bloom in Lake Okeechobee continues to grow, along with concerns on the Treasure Coast. Two years ago, algae devastated the St. Lucie estuary, and experts are worried that we could see a repeat this summer. John, Z John Zanidis has been tracking the algae and has the story in Port Mayaka. For as far as the eye can see, blue-green algae up and down the shores of Lake Okeechobee. What environmentalists do not want to see is this blue-green algae heading east towards the St. Lucie estuary. I think it's 100 times worse. It's incredible. Charter boat captain Mike Connor thought last week was bad enough. Today coming up here just took my breath away. Took my breath away. The blue-green algae bloom in Lake Okeechobee is growing, spreading into the C-44 canal. Which runs all the way to the St. Lucie locks and dumps into the St. Lucie estuary. It is thick, it's green, it's goopy, and it's growing. Right now, scientists are testing this algae bloom to see how toxic it is. Connor suspects a big fish kill is coming soon. The Martin County Health Department has posted signs avoid contact with the water. The Army Corps of Engineers has temporarily suspended lake water releases. But environmentalists fear it's only a matter of time before the Corps reopens the St. Lucie locks and all that blue-green algae is unleashed on the estuary. You know, if they do, the public outcry is going to be tremendous on this one. Reporting in Port Mayaka, John Zanidis, WPBF 25 News.